Hey everybody, it's me again. Today I'm going to show you how to tweak your registry, as you might say, so you could put backgrounds on your folder, folder backgrounds, which you might want to call. What is a folder background, basically? See, this is all white, all this white space. You can customize this so it could be a background that you would want it to be. Now, it's really cool. I really, really enjoy this. Now, just a little advice. Make sure you know what kind of operating system you have. It's either 32-bit or 64-bit. See, this works for either a Windows Vista or Windows 7. So that will be reliable. To find out which operating system you have, either a 64-bit or 32-bit system. Why do we keep saying operating system? The system. To see what, uh, what system you have, you, you want to go to your Start menu. And where it says Computer, you want to right-click on Computer and go to Properties. Once you do that, it's going to say system type right here, somewhere around here. It should say system type. And it should say 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. So once you find out which one you have, go in the description, and there's going to be to something. Well, there's going to be two links. One is going to say 64, one's going to be 32-bit. You must have WinRAR. Make sure you have WinRAR. Link will also be in the description if you don't have WinRAR. So once you download it, it's going to be kind of like this. Where is it? It's right here you want to right click and extract here or just extract this up to somewhere you might want it so I extracted it to my to my desktop all right so this is what you do word from word do exactly what I say watch this tutorial two times if you need to before attempting this so this is what you want to do you're gonna to want to right click where it says install right click go to run as administrator I should say something should pop out or something. I took that off for mine. But yeah, it should say DLL register server in Vista folder background that DLL succeeded. So click OK. This is, are you sure you want to continue? Click yes. And click OK. Then what you want to do is you want to go to folder BG, double click on that one, double click on, there's no run as administrator, and just click yes. You want to run it. And there. Now, what you want to do, listen very, very carefully before you comment. You want to go down here to your taskbar, find an open space, and right-click, and go to Start Task Manager. Once you go to Task Manager, go to Processes, and look for Explore.exe. You have to need to terminate your Explore.exe. And if you don't want to terminate Explore.exe, that's fine. Restart your computer or log off and log back in. But I recommend the fastest ways to go to explore.exe, end process, click and process again, go to applications, and go down here where it says new task, click on it and type in explorer.exe, click OK. And everything should load back up, and there, you're done. Now, this is something I recommend doing. You don't need to do this, but I recommend doing this. If you don't want the if you want the image to be perfect, I'm gonna pick a random folder. Hmm. Let's see, it's an important folder, so I'm gonna go into my documents, Xbox 360 modding. Alright, for my Xbox 360 modding folder, I wanna mod it. Or I wanna customize it, which you might say, why did I say mod? So to customize the background. You're gonna want to right click, go to new. Wait. Okay, I found the problem. Um, make sure the folder you want to mod is in your desktop. So you can do this. I was doing a couple steps. So this is what mine looks like right now. So I'm gonna change the view to large icons. So right here it's perfect. It says insane zero, whatever you want it to say, and I made it look perfect. The way I did this. Um, because if you put in a random picture, it's not gonna come out right. I'll show you an example. What you want to do is you want to go into, you want to double click on the folder. Make sure it's on your desktop. It can't be anywhere else. And I put it. Oh, I didn't put it for everything. But what you want to do is you want to go to customize this folder. No, this is not an extra file I put in here. It's been here. So you want to go to fold, uh, folder background. I'm gonna remove the image. Hit apply. Okay. It's going to go away. Okay, it's went away. So you're going to go to Customize Folder, Folder Background, Set Image, and 
if I pick, let's say, iPod, iPhone Toasted, the one everyone likes. I don't know why anyone likes this picture, but it's going like this. It's not even in the same place. So, what you'd want to do, and then let me just change it back to my original one. Set image. Apply, okay. Okay, to do this, make sure you don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure you do not change the size of. Well, never change the size of your window, like of your folder windows. Reason being is going to change the image the way it is. So if I double click on it, look, it's going to look like that. That's why I never make them all large about it. So just keep them in a minimum. And what you want to do is you want to go to search programs, go to snippet, snipping tool. Let that load up. So basically, it takes a picture. Windows Vista and Windows uh, Seven has this. So you want to go from corner to corner. Make sure it is precise. Let's up down here. So once you have that, get the get the dimensions number. Save it. Save it. Get the dimensions of it, like how I did uh, the first time. I had it right here. Now it was well, for me. It was eight eight seven by. Three eight three, that was mine. That's not gonna be for use unless like you have the same dimension of window as me, but that'd be pretty weird. Um, but yeah, this is how you do it. It's really fun and cool. There are other options you can do into this. Uh, you could change the text color. Let's say you want it to a nice white. I want to apply the subfolder, and yes, I like to shadow the text. So there you go. It looks really awesome. It changed the color and everything. So yeah, that's how you do it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.